Hello, Dr. Mahesh here. Today I am going to show a case of transforaminal endoscopic discectomy for alpha S1 disc herniation. This patient presented with left S1 radiculopathy since one month. Pain was severe and affecting activities of daily living. The MRI shows a central disc extrusion at alpha S1 causing compression of nerve on the left side. The surgery is done under local anesthesia. The patient is positioned prone over a radiolucent table. Here I am taking a entry point which is 12 cm lateral to midline above the eyelid crest on the left side. An 18 gauge initial puncture needle is inserted into the L5 S1 disc space. The needle has to be in the posterior third of the disc space in lateral view and in the center of the disc space in AP view. Needle is replaced by guide wire. Now I insert a dilator over the guide wire into the disc space under image control. Here the angle of entry is about 20 degrees. Once the dilator reaches the annulus, we gently tap the dilator into the disc space. Once the dilator is in the center of the disc space, we insert a cannula over the dilator into the disc space. Once the cannula is in the center of the disc space, the dilator is removed and endoscope is inserted. Further surgery is done using endoscope under vision. We have seen endoscopic pictures now. We can see the herniated disc fragment at the mouth of the cannula. Endoscopic disc forceps is used to catch this fragment and remove it. I am using a hook to mobilize the up migrated fragment
Once the fragment is mobilized, it is held with their grasping faucets and it is removed. that blood stain fragment is removed which confirms that unaided disc fragment has come out. I am using thermocoagulation to see the annulus. This will help to close the defect in the annulus. Thank you and I will see you in my next video on endoscopic distinctive. Bye.